yesterday on Anoki Daily Spotlight TV, we are at the Mosaic South Asian Heritage Festival of Mississauga, where the colors, aromas, and diversity of South Asian culture come to life. There is nowhere in the world that celebrates the tremendous diversity of our culture anywhere better than at TV Mosaic right here in Mississauga. <laughs> So a new mosaic is in its eighth year. It's the largest South Asian Heritage Festival in North America. How does that feel? Well, I can't say it's not exciting. It is <laughs> unbelievably exciting. This is one of the best years we've had. 150 artists come from all over the world. Most of them Canadian though, which is why we love to promote local talent. This is an opportunity to showcase our South Asian arts. This is an opportunity for young performers to take off and become rock stars. And for those who are the big stars, this is an opportunity to get more fans. We are looking at uh, a festival that has not only grown in leaps and bounds, mm -hmm. but has uh, holds the promise to become something substantial. The richness of South Asian culture, it is so accepting. In that way, we are very uh, accommodating, we are very pliable, and our, uh, we are always embracing of other ideas, other musical instruments, other sounds, other right. steps, and incorporate that within our, our culture. We have this unique mix from uh, East uh, India, uh, you can get it from uh, Indies, you can get it from South Africa, uh, and, and from Malaysia and everything works together to uh, make South Asian culture which is very encompassing and has every color, creed, caste, flavor uh, <laughs> under its umbrella. It's like garam masala. Absolutely <laughs> darling. To bring this to the Canadian diaspora and to share with them, it always makes them feel like, oh my God, we didn't know about this. Yes. They're always learning something new and they are always enjoying it because one, it's colorful, it's energy, it's bright. And also within all of us, there's this one unique spark of, I think it's uh, bringing people together. It's a way of life, it's tolerance. And I think that kind of really, uh, the spiritual energy that sort of enlightens these people and they start to fall in love with South Asian culture all over again. Yeah. And if you missed the Mosaic celebrations this year, don't worry, you can catch the festival again in 2014. Just check out mosaicfest.com for all the details. And of course, for our show, you can check us out at anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel. And don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.